A little over a year ago, I got my first Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, and it changed everything. My name's Jim, and this is the Edutech. From the very first time I saw the X1 Carbon in action, I knew it was gonna be special. Bamboo Lab started with a highly successful Kickstarter that raised over $7 million US and brought the X1 and the X1 Carbon to the 3D printing world. In the months following their Kickstarter campaign, they not only delivered everything on time as promised, but they introduced a brand new printer that's a stripped down version of the X1 called the P1P. Alongside of the printers, they developed a very impressive slicer called Bamboo Slicer. It stands out above most of the manufacturer provided slicers and it's super awesome to use. It's based on Prusa Slicer and it's very powerful, very simple, and very good at multicolor slicing. And speaking of multicolor prints, the AMS or Automatic Material System has quickly become one of the industry standards on multicolor printing on a stock machine. Well, in my opinion, at least. I think it's super easy to do. You just jump in the slicer, you color your model, and you send it to the printer. It is really that easy. And 99% of the time, you get an amazing multicolor print right off the printer, that simple. This is my original X1 Carbon, and it is called Neo. Yes, Neo. That's because it's the one I go to if it's not already printing, because it keeps printing just amazing prints. It's the first one I got and it's still functioning today. But there has been a couple issues with it, so let's talk about that. Hey, real quick, if you're getting value from today's video, please smash that like button for me. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button for more 3D printing, laser, and CNC videos just like this. Now back to it. While my experience has been overall great with the Bamboo Lab printers, there has been a couple challenges with my X1 Carbon specifically. See, in the beginning, they shipped me an AMS with the unit, as we saw in all of my first videos. But this AMS soon became incompatible with firmwares going forward, so it stopped working. It started acting crazy and erratic, and I had to work with their support to figure out what the issue was. They knew it was coming. They sent me a brand new one to plug in and use that would work with the firmware, and that got resolved pretty quick. And I know early versions of the firmware had issues where it wouldn't feed or it would stop feeding or get stuck and keep trying to feed and pull back, but all of that stuff was resolved pretty dang fast by Bamboo Lab. Matter of fact, I haven't had those issues in a very long time. I've also had a weird issue where the hot end cover comes off uh, maybe a few times on failed prints. It's not common at all for me, but it has happened. And spoiler alert, yes, I've had failed prints on my Bamboo Lab printers. It happens, it's gonna happen to every 3D printer out there. Most of them were my fault for slicing them wrong or positioning them wrong, or even trying to push these printers so far and too fast that they just fail. So I chalk a lot of them up to my fault. But for this issue, basically the hot end hits the failed part of the print, pops that front cover off and causes the printer to stop. Luckily it stops because there's sensors to tell it that the front cover popped off. I've never seen that in any other printer and I love that it's a feature on this because I stop wasting filament as soon as that cover pops and the printer stops. I know that some other people have shown this issue much more, but personally I've only seen that issue maybe a few times in a one year across all of my printers. So it's really not that big of a deal and most of the time it's been my fault. One of the advantages of owning Bamboo Lab printers is their very affordable replacement parts. They offer some of the cheapest stock parts for 3D printers from a manufacturer that I've ever seen. For example, you could get this complete hot end kit that I did a video on for $29.99. That's everything you need with the fan and the wiring ready to go. Or if you just want the nozzle and the heat break, you can get that for $9.99. And both of these can be installed within 10 minutes or less. It's very refreshing to see a manufacturer come out with stock parts that are very affordable for people. That way you can replace something that breaks or even stock up on some parts that you know you might need, like many different nozzles seen here. Bamboo Lab also has a well-designed maintenance program. It is very easy to follow and it helps keep your Bamboo Lab printers printing top-notch. Their commitment to customer satisfaction spills over into their firmware updates as well. They are constantly adding new features and addressing bugs very promptly. They actively listen to the user feedback and implement suggestions all the time. To me, that just demonstrates a dedication to the product and the users of the Bamboo Lab printers 
And I love to see that from the 3D printing company. Let's talk quick about their support. Their support team is learning and growing at this point. Sending in a trouble ticket over the app is super simple and I really actually like this process. I think it's better than just sending an email to a company and hoping they respond. But Bamboo Lab themselves actually acknowledge the fact that they need to enhance their support to be among the industry leaders. I mean, Prusa didn't get the level of support they have overnight. They had to go through those growing pains to get there. And I think that's where Bamboo Lab is right now. They're going through those growing pains. As a satisfied customer, I do believe that they're gonna get there and improve over time, and they'll be among the industry leaders in their support. I would say, honestly, it has been a fantastic year with my Bamboo Lab printers. I own six of them now, and I do not regret that at all. It is my go-to printer when somebody asks me which printer they should get started in 3D printing with, as long as they can afford the budget. These printers are user-friendly, reliable, and the closest I've ever seen to a 3D printer becoming a household appliance like a microwave. It is awesome how easy these are. You literally just unbox it, open the slicer, put your model in, and send it to the printer. It is that simple with these machines. I'm crazy excited to see where Bamboo Lab goes in the next year. I'm really hoping it's a large format printer. Come on, Bamboo Lab, we wanna see it. They offer affiliate links now, so check out the link in the description below to help the channel a little bit if you're gonna order one of these machines or any of their parts. Just click that link, go to the page, and it definitely helps the channel out. And if you wanna see how easy the maintenance on these things are, check out this video right here.